Will the tragic death of a paparazzo chasing after Justin Bieber's car lead to new laws? I'm Highland Hollywood for The Daily Buzz, and paparazzi photographer Chris Guerra was hit by a car and killed on New Year's Day after taking pictures of what he believed to be Justin Bieber in a sports car. Now the 29-year-old is dead, and it wasn't even Justin behind the wheel. Let's welcome former prosecuting attorney Lonnie Coombs uh, to the discussion. Lonnie, several celebs are calling for strict laws regarding the paparazzi. Is this the appropriate time coming off the death of one? I think it is. I mean, I think that it's long overdue to have these laws. There's actually a law on the book in California, but in November, a judge said that it was violating First Amendment rights, so clearly we need a better law. Um, this is the time when the emotions are high and when everyone's paying attention and saying, look, this is a very dangerous situation for the celebrity, for the police officers, and for the photographers involved. We do need to start regulating this type of scenario. Now, there's a million examples that we can go through. I mean, Justin, he's actually been in a scuffle with photographers losing his shoe. Uh, Paris Hilton, uh, she fell to the ground trying to leave a nightclub one night. Uh, is it realistic that there are laws banning this type of behavior that are actually going to work? Well, that's a good question because, once again, you always have to worry about First Amendment rights. Photographers do have the right to be out there and try and take uh, photographs. But when you know that there's a dangerous situation where people are getting hurt and even killed, the law can step in and say, we'll regulate this in a very specific way, whether it's to stay a certain amount of feet away from your subject. Um, it's, it's a matter of tailoring the law very carefully so that you can balance the interests of safety versus First Amendment. And it might take a while to get the law just right where the courts will actually accept it. Um, but it's necessary because the people in these situations, the celebrities, the photographers, and the police officers are all put at risk. And obviously, the photographers are not regulating themselves, so the law needs to step in and say, here's the appropriate behavior. Now, what's interesting is model Janice Dickinson actually is defending the deceased photographer, telling Celeb Buzz exclusively, quote, photographers have always been around and they have rights to... People have got to realize that they are trying to make a living by getting a picture, and there are no laws banning them. Obviously, this is coming from someone who I think loves attention. Yeah. Um, is there anybody out there that really has the back of a photog, that has the back of the paparazzi? Well, well, look, I agree. I mean, I think photographers, whether they're going after celebrities or some other subject, they have the right to do to make their livelihood. The problem with the celebrity paparazzi photographers is they sometimes make a very dangerous situation. You know, there was one allegation of saying, look, this is like a war photographer who gets killed out, you know, in, in the heat of war. But it's not necessarily the same thing because this paparazzi might be setting up the dangerous situation. And that's why people get mad at the paparazzi. But once again, everyone is still in danger. And so they need to regulate this specific situation. Yeah, and there needs to be a clear understanding. There's a difference between the photographers that you see like on a red carpet. Those are professionals that are paid to be yes. there versus someone who's hiding in a bush or running people off the road, which I think so many of us here in Los Angeles have experienced firsthand. Lonnie, thank you so much for joining us for the latest on this story. And the biggest story is breaking right now. Just stay clicked on CelebBuzz.com.